Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Happy to be connecting with you today. It is April 24, and it is a Tuesday. It's noontime here in Hawaii. And this is uh, day one of the two days a week I'm doing the Facebook live streams. The other day is Thursdays, uh, three hours earlier than now, 9 a.m. And if you get lost on that, you can always go to my Facebook page um, at the top of the banner that tells you actually when I go live in different time zones. So for all those just tuning in, wondering if they want to stick around, today we're going to be focusing on the Zhong, Z-H-O-N-G, the Zhong. And if you don't know what it is, that's a good reason to stick around. The Zhong is a Mandarin Chinese word that my spiritual teacher and uh, uh, teacher and father, Master Shaw, has uh, brought to describe the core of the body. And in today's Wisdom Teachings and Blessings, I will share with you what um, what aspects make up this core of the body, what energy centers and secret and sacred energy centers are in this core of the body. Uh, many of them you probably haven't heard of. <clears throat> and so for some of you, it will be uh, very good and important information. And then also I will share with you the what, why, and how to boost and build this area. And um, when I say what, why, and how, I'm referring to why is it important to boost this area? Why is it important to understand these energy centers and what they'll be doing and how to boost them? This will assist you, of course, with boosting your energy and so much more. Uh, it is very important to boost this area. So for those that just tuned in might have seen this pop up on their group, um, please stay and enjoy. And if you're unable to, make sure you like and subscribe and then uh, you'll be notified of my live streams and also you can always come back to my Facebook page and watch the recording after it's done. I do record uh, all of these onto a uh, podcast. It's something I'm a little behind on right now but after a week when these are finished I go back through and I grab them off the uh, internet and pull them onto my computer, make them into an audio podcast and then put them back onto my webpage. And they show up on iTunes and a couple of other podcast players that are out there. Um, there's quite a few different ways to have this listened to on your phone if that's easier for you. And on a completely separate note, in case any of you were unaware of it, um, <clears throat> if you've ever enjoyed the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, they now have a new app and it's called Love, Peace, and Harmony. Just go to your app store, and you can put that on your phone. And one of the great aspects of having this app on your phone is you can play it 24-7. So if you're a parent and you want to calm the kids down, just turn on your phone, right? Just leave it over there on the side, at volume one, two, or three. And you, if you're having trouble sleeping at night, you know, our cell phones and our Wi-Fi, they put off uh, non-healing frequencies. I guess that's the gentlest way to put it. And so you can actually have your phone uh, turned on with that music playing all night long and uh, you can actually have a very healing and soothing sleep all night long so download the app it's in the Apple Store and in the uh, Android Google Store it's called Love Peace and Harmony app and it is just a great great app to have so and it's a good one to share with other people you've been trying to tell about the song about because a lot of people they don't have the savvy how to put an mp3 on their phone etc so um, a couple people are showing a frozen screen. So let me offer a blessing to clear any blockages. Clearing blockages now between everybody's phone line, their phones, Facebook connecting, so that this stream is not interrupted. Facebook has done actually much, much better since it first started. When they first started offering these live streams, there was quite a few interruptions. and um, But now, uh, very few. So thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you for clicking on the share button, letting other people know about this live stream today on the Zhong, the core of the body and its importance to our health and wellness, its importance to our um, energy, its importance to so much more than energy. And we will talk about that as we move forward in this live stream. <clears throat> so um, while we are waiting, let's go ahead and connect 
heart to heart, soul to soul, and I will invite in the beings of light. Placing our hands in the hand mudra position, which is like a prayer position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center and the right hand remains gently pointed towards heaven. We'll invite in the beings of light. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine Tao source, all committees in heaven, the soul of all the heavens, generals and soldiers, heavens, animals, the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels and saints. Dear the soul, of all of the masters and ascended masters, Lama, Sifus, Gurus, Saints, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas. We love you all, honor you all, respect you all. Ask most humbly and most sincerely for your presence here today. I'm extremely honored and grateful for the opportunity to serve. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul of all of our uh, heaven's teams, we ask most humbly for your blessings today to help boost our jong. Dear all souls in all universes, we invite you to please come join this practice. Chant love, peace, and harmony with us. And we ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to please turn on. As we chant this mantra, we ask that you help to clear our Shen Chi Jing blockages and align our hearts and souls. Prepare us for today's wisdom, teaching, and blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, everybody new who's just tuning in, checking this out. This is a mantra. Uh, it is can be found at the lovepeaceharmony.org website, and it is translated into 42 languages, and it is su suggested and requested that you spread it far and wide as it's a mantra to bring um, balance to humanity. So we will chant together to connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and prepare for today. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo, ai, wo, shen, her, ling. O I trung and lay Wang li hing rung Her musher shung Shong I ping on a se Shong I ping on a se I love my heart and soul I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. So beautiful, huh? Very nice. So let's see who's joined us here today. <clears throat> Welcome to Sharon Saxby Anderson. Aloha Tahir Abedin. Welcome Vanessa. Welcome Sharon Dodd and Lisa Carter. Aloha Anne-Marie Smith and Kathy Arnold. Welcome Shirley Schuster. Aloha Kristen Rojas. Welcome also to Linda Smith Deacons and Angie Taylor. Uh, aloha and welcome to Monica. Aloha and welcome to Roshan Dal. Welcome De uh, Deborah Anderson. Welcome also to Ilona and Trina Robella. Aloha and welcome to Luna. And welcome Becky Lafave. I think she had to leave because her phone was messing up with her. Uh, welcome also to Sneha. Welcome Batina and Peggy Blake. Welcome to Katie Marie Bailey and Thuela. Welcome also Jennifer Cress Smith. Welcome Franziska. Amalimke. And welcome also uh, Melissa Reiki. Welcome to Nina Midway and Heather McNee. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. <clears throat> we have uh, less people showing up than normal because I used to do four days a week and now people are a little bit sidetracked on how to connect with me. But remember that on my Facebook page, right at the top, is a banner that tells you exactly when I come on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So hopefully you can make it more in the future. Today, we're focusing on what is the Jong and what is its importance for our energy. So, the Jong is a Mandarin Chinese word that means core. My teacher, Master Sha, for those of you that are new, Master Sha 
is a Mandarin Chinese soul, but he actually has pretty good English and a beautiful soul. And his purpose in life is to serve and to help awaken us, awaken our spiritual channels and awaken our energetic centers, our chakras and everything else. And he has very easy to follow through practices. Um, you can actually learn those if you want to join my 52 week to health program, um, which is starting in about four weeks. And um, I also have an open spiritual channels program, which is starting in about four or five weeks, which is a lot more focused on opening the spiritual channels and talking to God and third eye and all that. But once for healing, ones for open spiritual channels, join both if you want to. In any case, this teacher, Master Shaw, uh, is very unique in that he, he brings sacred and secret, in many cases secret, education that has been uh, kept from humanity. And why would they keep this from humanity? Well, um, it has to do, honestly, there's a very long story associated with that. The short version is, uh, there is light side and dark side, and uh, there is those that want to bring more light, and there is those that don't want to bring more light. And um, secrets can be shared, and it can also empower uh, those that misuse it. But in this case, um, humanity is going through some major, major shift, and uh, it's pretty obvious. You know, the world is going through some major positive shift, a lot of light, a lot of, a lot of. Uh, those that are doing very unpleasant things uh, to our children and, and trying to control humanity, they're being brought to justice, and thank goodness for that. So there's a lot of light. Um, but at the same time, there is a lot of fighting. And so this shows up in form of Mother Earth calamities and other things. Our energies, our individual and collective energies, impact Mother Earth. Um, you can see that in the form of climate change. You can see that in many different forms. And so this is what's called uh, the transition times, if you will, in which we're moving from darkness to light, moving from third to fourth dimension and so on. And in this process, uh, heaven has decided to bring great beings to humanity that bring forth great wisdom that has been hidden for centuries. Master Shah is one of those very important beings that has brought this great wisdom and has revealed many sacred secrets to humanity. If you'd like to know more, attend my classes, attend any of the nine centers worldwide. You can learn more at drshah.com, uh, drsha.com. And... Um, the purpose of all of these teachings and wisdoms is to awaken your spiritual awarenesses, to bring healing to you, to teach you how to self-heal yourself, to help you identify the source causes of your suffering. Today's teaching is on the Zhong and how it impacts us. So what is the Zhong? The Zhong is a Mandarin Chinese word that means core, C-O-R-E, core. And it is an area of the body that is a little vague and um, a very large actually and carries many different sacred energy centers some of them you're aware of them some of them you're not and so first you have to close your eyes and I will guide you through where this core of your body is it's easier when your eyes are closed because I'm going to walk you through a visualization so everybody close your eyes so if you can see me your eyes are not closed so close your eyes Now, visualize and touch your belly button. Everybody knows where the belly button is, so touch your belly button. Go to the center of your body. Now, that center of your body is one where, where one energy point is. It's called your third chakra. From your belly button to the center of your body is your third chakra. Slightly above it, very, very little, but slightly above it, is a sacred energy center called the Kun Gong. Kun Gong, K-U-N, Kun Gong. So see an energy center just above the third chakra. This Kun Gong is an oil lamp. It receives heaven's nectar. It receives Mother Earth's nectar. That's a whole other teaching. But that's a sacred energy point right there. Now from this middle of our body, draw a line straight down to the base of your torso, where you're in between your anus and your genitals. At the very uh, skin on the skin is an acupuncture point called the Huiyin area. So it's a straight line from the first chakra where your skin touches right up to the center of your body behind your belly button. So the Huiyin point at your first chakra where the skin is, this is the yin gathering point. Yin, like yin yang, right? It's the yin gathering point. What is the yin energies? They're the nurturing energies, the feminine energies. They carry many different qualities. And when our yin and our yang is balanced, 
all sicknesses heal. So the yin energy point, the hui yin, is a very important sacred and secret point. It is not the first chakra. The hui yin point is an acupuncture point and it is an energy center. Whereas the first chakra sits just inside the body, just inside the skin. So go above the hui yin point to the first chakra. This first chakra is a fist-sized energy center. So imagine the size of your fist and see a light ball just inside the skin. This is your first chakra. Now there is also the second chakra, which again, if you go back to your belly button, draw that invisible line to the center of your body and go down approximately an inch and a half. Right here is where your second chakra is. It has many uh, names such as the lower Dan Tien. For those that have just tuned in, close your eyes, visualize with me, this will help you a lot. So what we have described is the third chakra directly behind your belly button. Just above it is the Kun Gong. See those energy centers, okay? Then draw a line down about an inch and a half and you're at the second energy center, the lower Dan Tien, also known as the second chakra. And Master Shah's wisdom, he calls it soul houses. This is also called the second soul house. And then draw a line straight down to the base of your torso. Still inside your body is the first soul house or first chakra. Root chakra, some people call it. And at the base of the skin, even below the first chakra, is the Hui Yin acupuncture point. The Hui Yin, where the uh, Yin energy gathers. Mother Earth is the Yin, Heaven is the Yang, and so Mother Earth gathers our Yin energy. And it gathers here in the, in the uh, base of the torso. So this first line of energy centers, from the base was the Hui Yin, then the first soul house, we go up, then the second soul house, then we go to the third soul house, then slightly above that is the Kun Gong. How many energy centers is that? One, two, three, four, five. How many did you know about? Most of us only know about the first, second, and third chakras. And most of us don't even know exactly where they're at. So you've just been revealed two sacred energy points. Okay? That's one line of what incorporates the whole area of called the Zhong. So now, again, let's start from our uh, belly button. Go to the middle of your body. So this is one corner of the Zhong, if you will. So this is not a square, it's a round area of your body. Now go straight back to that dip in your back. That dip in your back is another sacred energy point called the Ming Men, M-I-N-G, M-E-N, Ming Men. Everybody repeat, Ming Men, again, Ming Men. The Ming Men is an extremely important, beyond your understanding important, sacred, energy point very rarely revealed to humanity very few people know about this sacred energy point but this point is so important that master shah refers to it as the Tao point my wife asked me the other day what is the difference between the Tao and the source what is the difference between Tao and the divine the creator well that's a whole nother subject a whole nother live stream but just know that the Tao point is very 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 closely related to your original creation point okay and it is a point through which a great deal of heaven's frequencies heaven's wisdoms heaven's blessings come to you another sacred secret about this ming men point that master shah teaches is that when we keep our mind and our focus our breath in our Tao point then you cannot be attacked, I will repeat. When we keep our mind, our thoughts, our breath, our focus, whether you're walking, whether you're talking, whether you're eating, whether you're watching a movie, it does not matter what you're doing. If you can keep your intention, your mind, your focus, your breath, in your Tao point, the Ming Men point, then you cannot be attacked. You also are aligned at the highest level to your source. That's how relevant this point is, the Ming Min point. Now, I didn't know any of this. Certainly, most of you did not know any of it.
Isn't it amazing that this wisdom, this very high level sacred and secret wisdom is being revealed to humanity? These are in Master Shah's books. Why have they been held back? These kinds of teachings were not taught to the initiate. The initiate that would go to China, go to India, sit with the master for 10 years and be told nothing. And then one day the master would start to reveal these kinds of secrets. But why are they being revealed now and brought to humanity? Because as human beings, we are individuals that are souls first. We are individual beings of light. The soul is a golden light being, but we are very much in the physical and we are very much in many cases not in alignment with our soul, not in alignment with humanity and love, not in alignment with our source. And in order to realign, in order to reconnect to our soul, we must learn these sacred secrets. We must awaken from the drama of the lie of this physical world. We must awaken to our soul journey. And when we practice using the practices, some of which will be revealed today, when you open the books, practice the, the ones that Master Shah has revealed to us. When you train underneath a master teacher like myself or any of the master teachers around the world, when you go to Master Shah's Tao healing centers worldwide, you will awaken to your spiritual journey 100 times faster than you can possibly accomplish on your own or what you could possibly think you can accomplish by traipsing around the internet listening to psychics and everything else out there okay those are just little games that keep you lost in the sauce if you truly want to awaken to your soul journey if you truly want to align to your source you really need to recognize that the wisdom and teachings are out there and it's important to follow someone who doesn't have an ulterior motive and has no interest other than to serve your soul journey it doesn't have to be me it can be anybody you follow but make sure their heart is pure and clear and they have no ulterior motives a lot of people do unfortunately so if your soul journey is important to you then find a good teacher find a good wisdom that serves you i recommend my spiritual teacher and father because this is my observation and my truth, I think he has a pure heart and a pure intention. So the Ming Men point, very, very important point. It's called the Tao point. And what, what does that mean, the Tao point? It means that when you keep your thoughts, your mind and your breath and your intention in this area, what does it mean you cannot be attacked? Well, the more we wake up, we recognize there are unpleasant frequencies, unpleasant energies. There can be unpleasant thoughts. We can have bad dreams. We can literally receive what is termed psychic attacks. We can have energy and then all of a sudden our energy is drained. Where does this come from? This comes from our karma in many cases and not keeping our focus in the right places. And so when we can keep our thoughts, our mind, and our breath on our Ming Men point, we can have significant benefit to our life. Uh, Master Shah in this teaching, he started teaching this roughly seven years ago. And he said it took him almost three years of reminding himself 24-7, reminding himself, breathe here, focus here, think here, before he could actually constantly keep his mind in that area. It is a lifelong choice, no different than keeping your tongue touched to the roof of your mouth. Another sacred secret. All of these help align our frequencies, align our energies. All of these help us keep the chi flowing in our body. There are no shortage of these wisdoms and secrets. Become more informed. Get the books. Go to the classes. Join my 52-week course. Kristen will post it for you. This is how you learn. This is how you apply. So now we've covered the third chakra in the center of your body. Just above it is the Kun Gong. Straight back from your belly button to the dip in your back is the Ming Men. And straight down from the center of your body is the second chakra or second soul house. The first chakra, first soul house. And even before that, at the skin, is your Ming Men acupuncture point. Or excuse me, the Hui Yin acupuncture point, which is the... Uh, yin gathering point these are just some of the sacred energy centers in the Zhong but you're starting to see the stretch of the Zhong's uh, frequencies it's not it doesn't follow this line it's in a huge circle that goes out to the sides of your hips and then gathers around to the base of your body 
So now from the Ming Men point, let's go down. Let's go down to the tip of our spine. At the tip of our spine, there are two invisible holes. And these invisible holes are uh, where frequencies and energies run through, through the center of the spine. <clears throat> this point here, these two, these, this point here where these two invisible holes are, is called the Hui Liu, Hui Liu energy point. This Hui Liu energy point is extremely important. It's not a chakra, is it? Mingmen is not a chakra, is it? The Hui Yin is not a chakra, is it? The Kun Gong is not a chakra. It's four sacred energy points, three chakras in this Jong area. How much have you learned so far? I knew none of this 10 years ago. The only reason I know it, the only reason you know it now, is because of the wisdom of such an important master, Master Shah. Become informed. Move away from ego. Follow somebody that has an interest in mind to serve your soul journey, to give you the sacred secrets that you would have to go live with the masters in China, live with the masters in India, give your entire life up. These are available to you now. Become informed. Do the practices. So the Hui Lu acupuncture point is important. There has not been much revealed on this acupuncture point other than uh, there are two invisible holes that go up the spine. Some of you may have heard the mantra, uh, Yo Wang Yi Shi Ar Hong Hong He, and in reverse, He Hung Hung Ar Shi Yi Wong Yo. This mantra was brought to humanity about uh, six years ago in Master Shah's Dao Song Dao Dance book. He uses mantra because it helps focus our visual light, it helps focus our sound power, and it helps us bring energy and frequency to each area. He, for example, is the first soul house. Hung, for example, is the second soul house. Hong, these are all sound powers. Hong, that vibrates the third soul house. So one of the ways that these great masters, like a Master Shah, brings the power to our body to bring healing, to open it up, to release blockages, is he puts it in the form of a mantra. Mantras have been used for many thousands of years with specific sound powers that vibrate the area and release the blockages. If you vibrated Hong as a simple example for your uh, center of your body, that would literally clear blockages. If you did it for 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you could literally clear constipation. You could literally clear abdominal obstructions and pain in your abdominal area. Why? Because when you do the practices the way they're presented, you're clearing Shen, Qi Jing, karmic blockages. You're clearing blockages in our energy body. These great wisdoms are not learned when you traipse around the internet doing tarot card readings, doing psychic readings, doing you know all the other things that are out there. Those just take your mind away from your spiritual journey. You and your soul are the ones that are the most important, the most responsible. If you waste this life, this is one of the teachings Master Shah's teacher taught him. Master Shah's main teacher was Master Guo. And he said, he told him, a life not spent on awakening your spiritual journey is a completely wasted life. Completely wasted. How many people go through this life? Oh, I'm in pain. What was me? Oh, this person hurt me. Oh, this, you know, this, this person fired me. Oh, you know, life sucks. They don't bother on their spiritual journey. They just complain. How many people have plenty of money? They go through and have all the toys that money can buy, but they don't do anything for their spiritual journey. A wasted life. What does that mean, wasted? That means you come to the other end, you die, heaven uh, uh, goes through the Akashic Record revealing and sees, sees if you learn anything, see if you actually brought value to your life and to other people's lives, or did you bring uh, uh, a lack of value, okay? And it's okay, do over, and you go back, and maybe next time you don't have such a wonderful life. Maybe you have to suffer a little bit more before you figure out your part of the whole, before you figure out it's about love. It's not about selfishness. So any life not, uh, not spent serving others and, and awakening to your soul journey is a wasted life. 
you don't have to agree this is the wisdom that has come to make sense to me and and, and my training under many masters is the one that's made the most sense to me so we have now discovered the Hui Lu point at the base of the spine so Wei Yin point at the base of the first soul house uh, at the base of the skin the Ming Min Hui Lu Wei Yin Ming Min are all part of the Zhong okay what else is in this area everybody heard of the Kundalini right everybody's heard of the Kundalini you'd be sleeping under a rock if you didn't hear of the Kundalini and in the traditional Chinese medicine they call it a snow mountain area Taoist teachings call it the golden urn golden urn so there's many different uh, names for the same area where is it located at it's actually located in just about the center of your Zhong so if you touch your belly button again, you draw an invisible line two-thirds of the way back and drop down about two and a half inches, you'll find this energy center. It sits basically just in front of your uh, base of your spinal cord inside your body. Okay, uh, And so that is, is almost the center of the core of the Zhong, Z-H-O-N-G. Zhong means core. Okay, So now what do we have? We have the Kun Gong Hui Yu Wei Yin Ming Min. We have the Kundalini. We have the first, second, third soul houses. That's a lot of energy centers and chakras in this one area, most of which you may not have heard much about. So, do you think that this area of your body might be important? How many masters or teachers have you come across that teach you all of these? I would venture to guess zero until you came across Master Shah. A great master has no agenda except to save human beings and awaken them to their soul journey. That's why Master Jesus is well respected. That's why our beloved Buddha is well respected. The great masters have no agenda. They give freely of all of their wisdom. Some people, and this is a total side note, I'm going off here on a total side agenda, but stay with me. Some people have said very unpleasant things about Master Shah, even about me, for charging money for what's called divine services. And it's so sad. They say, you know, it should be free. Well, a doctor had to go through 12 years and about $250,000 to become a doctor. It would take them a long time to pay that back. Master Shah had to go through 50 years of extraordinary suffering to become the great being that he is. And he has to travel around the world for 18 years, paying for hotels, begging people to come to awaken their soul journey. And the money he made was specifically to pay for growing and keep on traveling. He makes no money on that. With his books, he asked you to go buy the books and please give them away. He said, I will do a blessing for you to save your life, to enlighten you, to do this, this, that. That'll be $500, but don't give me money. Go buy $500 worth of books and give the books away so people learn how to uh, feed themselves and heal themselves. He makes, what, 20 cents on a book that's worth $10? Nothing. People don't have enough intelligence to understand the wisdom. They come to rash judgments. Lack of wisdom. That's what happens when your heart is not open. Lack of wisdom. So all these practices open our spiritual channels, open our wisdoms, help us to align to our original reasons for being here. When we focus on the Jung, when we focus on empowering this area, what will it do for us? What it does, why we do this, is it helps us to create a powerful foundation You've heard me say this before, a pyramid shape, a pyramid form. If a pyramid was sitting on top of the ground and a massive 100 foot tidal wave came, the pyramid would go and move about three inches to the left. If a pyramid was upside down on the same ground and a tidal wave come, it would go dunk, 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 dunk and roll over 20 times. Human beings are like pyramids in our energetic formation. We are meant to be like a triangle in our energetic formation. Very strong foundational base. And as we move up our soul houses and chakras to a sharp wit, a sharp intelligent point in which heaven's frequencies comes in very sharp, very clear. We hear without the monkey mind getting involved. 
Why does the monkey mind get involved? Why can't we hear clear messages? Why do we have massive mental emotional blockages? Why? Why do we find ourselves in emotion, depression, blah, blah, blah? We are an upside down pyramid. We are knocked when the wave hits us. What is the solution? Build your jong, build your core. How many masters in time have said this same thing? Build your foundational energy. How, how many of the ancient uh, arts from the Asian Eastern cultures? Build your foundation. Dawn, 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 lower dawn, tai chi, qi gong. Where are their palms? What are their palms doing? They're building an energy ball. What is qi gong? What is tai chi? What are all the martial arts doing? Teaching you to build the foundational core. 5,000 years of wisdom, we sit over here in the West and go, Hmm, I wonder why I have so many emotions and mental blockages. We must recognize our energetic body is built in a certain way. The jong can be drained. Our first soul house is related to our sexual energies. Our first soul house can be drained. Every time we release, we drain our sexual energies. We drain our body energies. Now, hey, I love it just as much as everybody else. Doesn't mean we can't be a little more responsible sometimes, right? And if we decide to have fun, great, have fun. But do your practice. Refill the gas tank. Uh, our second soul house, very foundational, our kundalini area. Our kundalini area feeds and nourishes our kidneys. Why is that important? Because the kidneys are the very first organ formed in the human body. Go look it up in your, in your books. The kidneys are the very first thing they see under the microscope when a fetus is being birthed, when a fetus is being created. Kidneys. Why? Because the kidneys create the matter that creates the body. So do you think the kidneys are important? How many people die when they have kidney issues? A lot. It's important, guys. It's the water organ. What feeds this organ? The kundalini. People are oblivious to the energy centers of the body, the chakras of the body. Oblivious. They don't get it. Oh, spend time on this. I don't have time for that. I need to go shop. I need to go this. I need to do this. Okay. Everything else is more important. You are a soul first. You are the physical body after. Heal and rejuvenate the soul first and the mind and body follows. This is a wisdom Master Shah brought to us. It's not that we don't get it, but we just don't get it. When you empower these energy centers, these chakras as a part of your soul, don't you think your body will positively respond? Pretty common sense if you break it down. We are a soul first. Heal the soul first and the mind and body will follow. So when we do not heal our body first, when we do not uh, boost the energy centers first and do our chakra balancing first, when we do not join the 52-week healing program that comes up in four weeks, when you do not join the open energy centers program that comes up in five weeks, when you do not go to any of the centers that Master Shah has, join any of the Dao Chong events, you are not refilling your energy centers. Therefore, you are using whatever power you have from the food you eat, and that's about it. Do you think that your food is nurturing you? Uh, no. Toxins, uh, all, all the poison they put in our clouds, all the poisons they put in our water, our food, the vaccines. Do you think the food and, and, and the chemicals and Roundup and all that on our food, do you really think that's going to nourish you over the course of time? Ha! You're kidding yourself. Okay, If you don't boost and build your foundational energy centers as a part of your daily food, you will die young. It is just the nature of the common sense of life. You have to build your foundational energy centers. There is no other option. This is, this is, if you don't learn it this lifetime, you'll learn it in a future one. Might as well get started in the learning process. Build your foundational energy centers each and every day. It will save your life. It will boost power to your kidneys, which then feed and nourish your spine and spinal cord, your third eye, your brain, right? A lot of parents don't understand that if they can teach their children, do practices with their children for what you're, the core foundation, the kundalini, etc., 
If they receive blessings like the kind I or the other masters can offer for a child's intelligence or for their Kundalini area, oh my goodness, this will help them so much for their brain intelligence. They'll be very, very smart kids. But you must have the foundational energy. You don't want heavy up here or light at the bottom. Too many people in America, too many people in Europe, all over the world, we're upside down pyramids. We're mental emotional, right? We're just, woo, we're like, we're like pyram upside down pyramids and a tidal wave. All of us running around. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Right? Tell me who's not like that. A lot of people run around like that. Why? There is no foundational energy. Heal the soul first and the mind and body will follow. The light bulb starting to connect, the dots starting to connect, guys. So now, let's do a practice for the Jom. A very simple, repeatable practice. Monica admits it. Great. She's probably one of 80 people that will watch this that actually uh, will acknowledge the truth. Heck, I'm there sometimes. If I get whacked up, go do practice. Okay? How do we do practice? We follow the four powers. Body power. Where we place our hands is where the energy goes. So if we place our hands facing the core, then the, the light and the chi from our hands will go there. Remember Tai Chi, Qi Gong, what are they doing with their hands, right? Body power. Sound power. What you chant is what you become. Sound power is very important. Boosting power to the foundation, we use sound power and body power and the mind power together and soul power, right? Mind power, creative visualization. So for sound power, we're, gonna, we're going to use just one or two different sounds. I'll use the word jong, the name we've been calling this, the whole area, jong, jong. Why? Just chanting jong help. Well, by itself, it has you know this much effect. But when you add all four powers to it, it has a much bigger effect. Okay, vibrates the area. Mind power, creative visualization. You can do the sound power and place your hands there. And if your mind's wandering off over here, thinking about what you're going to make the kids for lunch, or thinking about husband, da 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 da, the job, not going to be doing yourself too many services. Not going to have the effect that you could have if you put your mind in your jong, you visualize the light coming in. Mind power, very important. Soul power is the fourth power, the most important power. Master Shah brought it to humanity. He takes no credit for it. You know who he gives credit to? The source, the creator. He, he doesn't take credit for anything. He puts his head on the ground every day, a couple hours a day actually. Thank you God, thank you source. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve humanity. That's an unconditional servant. That's a humble servant. I love this soul because he takes. I never see him take credit. Never. When we apply soul power, the wisdom given to him by heaven, when we truly apply it, I tell you, your life can change. What is soul power? Soul power is the inner souls and the outer souls. Inner souls is all of the energy and matter of our body, all of the organs and systems. Who created them? Creator did. The Creator uh, uh, say that only humans have souls and all the cells and cellulose and all that I didn't create? No. Creator created everything. They all have Creator consciousness. Therefore, they all have spirit or soul. And change your brain. Okay. So there's inner souls. All the energy centers have souls. All the chakras have souls. The jong, the core of these uh, major eight locations, have a soul. So we talk to the inner soul. And then there are outer souls. The outer souls. God, Jesus, Buddha, Mother Mary, all the angels, right? Archangel Michael, uh, healing angels, you know, name them. How many beings of light are there? Massive amounts of being of light. Outer souls. Many of them come to serve when we call upon them because they did not get to become a being of light by not being of service. They got there by being of service. So when we call them, they come to serve. So when I say creative visualization, you visualize all the beings of light coming to your core, blessing you, 
You visualize the sun, the moon, Mother Earth blessing you. Soul power is the most important of the four powers. Without it, you'll have some results, but you will not have the results you need. If you do even 10 minutes of this every day, you will have huge results. Huge, 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 huge results. If you have low energy on a consistent basis, okay, let's see if this works. I'm going to do this for 21 days, and I'm going to chant jong, 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 jong with the four powers twice a day, not once, twice a day, morning and night, or maybe morning and lunch, okay? See if after 21 days you don't have a lot more energy. It's a sacred wisdom. It's been held back for hundreds of years. Let's do it. Sit up straight. Feet flat on the floor. Back away from the back of the chair. This allows the chi to flow. One palm over your lower abdomen, over your belly button area. One palm, center of your palm, over the dip in your back. Called what? What's the name of that dip in your back? The Ming Men Point. The Tao Point. Okay? So your hands are in position. That's your body power. What's the sound power? You follow me. We will chant Zhong. I might change it and say Zhou, Zhou, Zhou. Maybe even I'll say light. Keep it simple, okay? Mind power. See all the light coming in. See all the beings of light shining their light in this area. You are building a bowling ball sized light ball in this area. You are gathering. Imagine a light ball gathering, 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 becoming more condensed, more solid, brighter, brighter, brighter. That's what your creative visualization is. For the soul power, close your eyes and repeat after me. If it is comfortable, dear the soul of all of the beings of light, my beloved creator, God, the Tao, the source, dear the soul of all the angels, healing angels, the archangels and the masters, all the ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, all the Buddhas, all the bodhisattvas, the soul of Mother Earth, the sun and the moon, Dear the soul of all of those serving the planet of the light side, I love you, honor you, bow my head to you, and thank you for all of your unconditional service, much of which I do not see. I love you all, and I thank you all. I ask very humbly and sincerely for your presence and blessings today to boost the power to my jong, all my energy centers and chakras in my jong, the core of my body. I am extremely honored and grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now we've spoken to the outer souls. Now let's speak to the inner souls. Continue to repeat. Dear the soul of my first, second, and third soul houses, my Kungong Ming Min Hui Lu Wei Yin Zhong. I love you all, honor you all. You have the power to heal yourself, to boost your energy. You have the power to release blockages. You have the power to build and sustain my Zhong, my core energy. Do a great job. Thank you. We don't say do a great job to God and, and all the beings above us. That would be very rude. But we can say that to everything inside the core of us because it's part of us. So that is your soul power. So now, with your eyes closed, with the greatest visualization, when you chant, chant in the core of your body, not at your throat. Boost and build the foundation. Let us do this together. Jong, 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 jong.
中中中中中中中中中。See the light gathering brighter, brighter. 中中中中中中中中中。中中中中中中中中中。中中中中中中中中中。中中中中中中中中中。Light, light, 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 light. See how bright it is. Gather the light. Condense the light. Make the shining golden light ball brighter, stronger, bigger. Light, 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 light
If you had any third eye images, please share. If you had any feelings or sensations, please share. And while you're sharing, I will do uh, one more little sales pitch. I call it what it is. Um, I only do live stream two days a week now on Facebook because I need to devote more time to service in the larger community. Towards that end, I've dedicated 52 weeks of self-healing, going through all of Master Shah's books, one by one, uh, covering all the key points so you have a strong foundation and application of the wisdom and the practices on a consistent basis. Every Sunday I'll be doing this and every Tuesday is our practices. It's only $10 a week. You can do a 12-week program for only $100. You get 12 weeks of service for only $100 with practices. If you have any kind of physical issues, emotional blockages, mental problems, negativity, attitudes, ego, attachments, you're ready to grow spiritually, have spiritual blockages, you need to join this program. It will assist you in ways you cannot comprehend. If you want to open your spiritual channels, keep your eyes tuned. That one will come up in another five weeks. I will open the spiritual channels program for further developing your third eye, uh, awakening your ability to talk to heaven. Okay. In the future, I will have a, a cancer healing program. So you can learn more. Kristen has put the posts there. So I'm going to read some of these um, responses now. And welcome to everybody who joined in the last uh, 20 minutes. I'm sorry I haven't acknowledged you. So Donnie Rollins says, thank you. You're welcome, Donnie. Welcome also to uh, everybody else. And uh, Becky says, warmth, major vibration and yellow ball in her third eye. Becky says her fingers are vibrating and, and still and her palms. Uh, Angie, she felt vibration and heat rising up the back. Rosetta, her body is vibrating and tingling all over. Yeah, mine too. Uh, Kathy says sweating profusely. Um, Sharon, beautiful tingles everywhere. Thank you. Lots of people, a lot of movement, a lot of sweating. Um, some people may have seen different things with third eye, feeling very calm and relaxed. Monica says she saw a huge cloud and golden light all around her. Thank you, Master Shah and the Divine. And Janice, a lot of sweating, a lot of movement of chi. Yeah. This will help you to balance yourself, not be a swayed in the wind. Okay? Be like the bamboo that sways but returns to form. Kristen, this does tell us perfectly with the work she's been doing. Thank you. She'd forgotten to chant Jong. Yeah, very simple and powerful chant. Jong, 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 light, light, light. Anybody can remember that. Try it 10 minutes a day, not just for your energy. You could find yourself uh, being a lot more grounded and a lot less whacked by life's events. Okay? You, people could could come to you. You know, sometimes this happens. People come into our energy field and they're like, ah, 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 and we're the kind of people that maybe gets involved in it. And go, ah, 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 also, some people are just like that. If you find yourself doing this practice consistently, they'll come to you, ah, 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 and you'd be like, mm hmm, mm hmm. You know, you might want to consider da 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 da. And they'd be like, wow, that's a great idea. What what happened to you? You know, uh, because you did not get caught up in an energetic imbalance. It happens a lot uh, for us. We, we're basically sponges of other people's energetic imbalances. So this helps us to not be like that. Uh, Becky says her elbows were hurting. Uh, is that normal? Um, most likely it's because uh, your shoulders were a bit stiff uh, when you were in the proper position and you didn't allow the chi to flow naturally. So that's the point of stagnation. That's what I would guess, Becky. Okay, so um, we're a little bit past the hour. I went a little bit long because uh, I was on a roll with sharing of the wisdom um, and hopefully this practice served you. So I call you to, uh, to my Facebook page. At the top of the page is the times that I come live on Facebook. Okay, keep an eye on that. You can come to my website, asoulhealer.com. Um, uh, I have to put on the first page the 52-week program. It's not on the first page yet. I got to make that a priority. But it is posted here. If you look at Kristen's links, uh, you can see where she's posted it a couple times. You can follow more and learn more about that coming up. It starts the 20th of May. 
Okay? So let us offer our gratitude. We thank the Divine Tao Source, our beloved Creator. Thank Master Shah, Master Shah's original soul. We thank all of the beings of light who have come to offer their service today. Um, we thank all those serving the plan of the light side for their unconditional service, and we ask them to respectfully return. So we say three times three thank yous, three love yous, three gong songs. Gong song is Mandarin Chinese, and it means respectfully return. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. So thank you, everybody, and we will see you on Thursday, starting three hours earlier than when today started 9 a.m. Hawaii time. Bye-bye. See you then. Bye-bye.